Hello YouTubers, Kyle Guns out there. Just thought I'd do a little quick video instead of posting a bunch of pictures of what I've got going on so far. So you are not seeing double. I am, as I said before, building a project uh, with my stepfather. He's really into guns like me. So um, so I started off with was DPMS lower. And I got that for like 349 from Sacramento Black Rifle. It's pretty cool, it came with a bullet button and it came with a mag and the lower, that's about it. Got the lower parts kit, DPMS from Midway. I think it was on sale for like 59 bucks. Got a good deal on that. Um, CMC trigger, that was on sale, got that. It was like 150, something like that. Three and a half pound pull, set trigger, not adjustable. One thing that I will caution if you do what I did, I got a little antsy and I put the lower all together with the stock trigger and then I decided to get this upgraded trigger and then you have to take apart your your safety. So that kind of sucked. But what I really like about this lower is the detents and springs go up this way. And I'm not sure if all through um, AR-10 lowers are that way, but pretty cool design the way DPS did that. So I went with uh, Magpul PRS, got that for sale at Cheaper Than Dirt for I think it was like 188. I just, I didn't even say on sale, it was just a regular price. So I was like, oh, right on, rock on. Um, got the little big eraser back here, help with the little recoil. And what else is on the lower? Oh, um, I believe this is a, called uh, Command Arms or something like that, Command Armory. It's pretty cool, it's a, the pistol grip, has three different sizes, small, medium, and large for both sides. You can customize to your, to your own mitts, you know? So, that's about it. Oh, I did buy the DPMS A2 um, rifle kit because I didn't want to horse around with getting the wrong spring or the wrong tungsten or, you know, just not having all the right parts. So I do have an A2 stock I can put on there if I want. Um, but this one's way cooler. So. There's my, this is my stepdad's, I can tell because his bullet button isn't installed. He lives in New Mexico, so I'm going to wait and ship that separate. Don't want Johnny Law getting a little upset with me. What else we got here? Um, DPMS SAS barrels. Got these, got most of this stuff from Midway. I got a couple things from Aluru, I'll explain that. I will say either Midway or UPS is just really rough on parts. I'm, I'm gonna blame UPS because I'm pretty biased towards those guys seeing I work for their competitor but anyways um, DPMS SAS barrel the only thing if you're getting into AR-10s that sucks about this is see those little three little dots there needs this three little dots 99 bucks for that little chunk of metal can you believe that that's craziness but whatever and you need to buy the detent does not come with your gas block but what was really cool is um, I got the Yankee Hill rifle length, so it fits right in there. And what's nice is it's gonna fit over the gas block and totally cover it. And then Yankee Hill um, also sells this little kind of end cap, goes right over it, fits on the barrel, nice, it's gonna look real clean, I think. But. Like I said, it's my choice, so I'm a little biased. Uh, what else we have here? Let's see, we got for my father, our stepdad, he wanted to go with the traditional upper, uh, decided to get complete upper, you know, forward assist, dust cover. And then, um, because he's gonna take his hunting and he's got quads and, you know, if he's up in the snow and drops it, oops. I'm gonna go with something a little more exotic. I got something from Fulton Armory coming which I will show you guys when I do the second version of this video. But got him the um, BCM gunfighter mid-length. Got my no-go-go, no-go-go no go, go, go kits back there to make sure the headspace is cool. Um, really like these. I want to go with LaRue, but LaRue didn't have a 20 MOA mount that I saw on their website. So I went with um, American Defense, made in USA. That's totally rad. Um, 30 millimeter rings there, and 35 millimeter rings for mine. I will show you what I'm putting in there. 
just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like roll pins and the Picatinny rail I'm gonna use. Uh, this stuff I got from LaRue. Really impressed with LaRue. Those guys rock because they, um, they, they put a bunch of free stuff in my box. I don't know if they meant to do it on accident or trying to lure me in as a customer for life or something. They gave me a hat, they gave me some dry rub for some ribs, they gave me a cool little bottle opener, a video of sniper competition or something like that. I'm gonna check that out, but that's the Harris BRS. It's the one that pivots six to nine. It's got the little indicators on the, the, the feet. And then um, I got the mount to mount it onto underneath the pinky teeny, however you say that. So it'll be cool. I'm not gonna go with the full length rail on the top, just the little, the little guy here. Going for a real clean look. Um, gas tubes, I'm sure you recognize that. And this is really cool. Got this from Midway. It works as an AR-10 uh, vice block and AR-15 for future builds. So that's that. Um, I do have to adjust this silly Yankee Hill free float tool. Does not come with a half inch drive provision for uh, torquing down to 30 pounds and finding the right alignment. So what I'm gonna do is just drill a hole here, cut this off, and it's been a while since I fired up the MIG, so fire up the MIG, bolt that in there, be able to torque it down, It'll be legit there. So this is what I was talking about, what's gonna go in those mouths. Look at that. That's a millet. Heard tons of good reviews on this stuff. Lifetime warranty, can't go wrong. I mean, I think I paid, 315 on sale midway like last week for that and then I got like an AR15.com member deal So I mean if you want to apply it towards that I paid under 300 bucks for that scope This one was a little more pricey uh, That was like 460 something like that uh, Anyways, I'm really impressed with millets uh, packaging I will say these guys we, um, Do a really good job. Sorry doing this one-handed. Hold on. I mean, that, the knob on that is just rad for the tactical version. Uh, that's about it, guys. So that's what I got so far. I, like I said, I got Fulton Armory. I got the I got a side side charge handle, right side, and a bolt carrier group, and that was not cheap. I'll tell you that for sure. That should arrive on Wednesday. Waiting on my stepfather's bolt carrier group, and then I got some JP uh, muzzle brakes to put on the end there. So that about does it. There will be a part two in the future in a couple weeks. Stand by.